turtles. I sent the customer's address to you. Now get a move on. Thanks, guys.
pressed from the oven to the client's hands. Perfect delivery. That for straight out of the oven. Good work, Turtles! I already see the customer gave us five stuff!
Let's head to Dad's secret bachelor pad and deal with that delusional croc. Words I never thought I'd say. I don't blame Dad for wanting to get away. Three of you are a lot. Hey, Sai, I meant to. Not there! Thanks, guys. Get you.
well done! Hey, Dad, why did you keep your bachelor pad a secret? I needed a place to bring dates. TMI! <sighs> There's no privacy in these sewers. It's crowded enough before you invited your friends to a never-ending sleepover. There's always someone in my space. <laughs> I'm more scared about being Dad's bachelor pad than I am facing Leatherhead. I'll get you!
I'd say we are on the right track. Yeah, this decor can only be Leatherheads. Or Dad's. It's his bachelor pad after all. J just stop. Leatherhead! This place looks like the season finale of Stockpilers. I think she's powering that Jenny with an exercise bike. Respect! Wow, that is a lot of chocolate pudding. I won't share a single cup. Not even the gross low-carb kind! I guess we'll take your pudding by force. Dude! What are you doing? I'm skipping the cutscene. There's only one way this ends. Guess there won't be any talking turtles in the post-apocalypse! Get out of my mask, poachers! 
Man, is she cray cray. No fear. She can see us and we can barely see her. Like shooting turtles in a barrel. Those night vision goggles are giving her the upper hand. Hmm. Maybe we can use them against her. What if we whack one of those generators? It could cause a power surge. The sheer intensity of light would overload the goggles. Come on! Heard the one about the lazy wombat and the totally awesome one? I think I got the gist. Wombats spend much of the winter in their burrows, yeah? Totally. What? Eric Pattenborough down under is a great spin. The awesome wombat spent every day. Wait, that's not how it happened. Let's try that one more time. Man, is she cray cray? Come if you on! Heard the one about the lazy wombat and the totally awesome one? I think I got the gist. Wombats spend much of the winter in their burrows, yeah? Totally. What? Eric Pattenborough down under is a great spinner. The awesome wombat spent every day foraging berries in preparation for the long winter. But the lazy wombat spent all day watching the telly. Come first snowfall, guess who was knocking on the awesome wombat's burrow, trying to bum lily pillies? I mean, there's only one other character in the story. That's right. The lazy wombat. Point is, you're all lazy wombats, and I'm an awesome wombat. Now back away from the pudding. She's down. We're getting good at this. Shall I give the spiel? Be my guest. Hey, Leatherhead. Hey, you're, you're safe, buddy. None of this was your fault. It was the pheromone that made you think the end times were nigher than usual.
stay down. I doubt she'll wake up normal with all the pheromone in the air. Let's get her back to the sewers. Stat. Good call. Everyone grab a limb. That was cool, wasn't it? How are you feeling? Eh, on a scale of one to ten, where ten's nuclear Armageddon, or maybe a three. Why are you so obsessed with the end times, Leatherhead? When I was an ankle biter, poachers came for my family. After that, I didn't have anyone to protect or feed me. So, I just started collecting stuff. Twigs, rocks, half-eaten candy bars. I wanted to be ready for the next cataclysm. When I look at what's happening with the Mubies, I can't help but feel a crackdown coming. Poachers. That's right. But we're not gonna let this situation turn into a cataclysm. Yeah, now that you're back in the fold, we're gonna stop Cammy's plan together. Is that right? You bet. I guess preventing the apocalypse is the ultimate prepper move, eh? I'm in. All right. Welcome back, teammate. I'm definitely not at all afraid of. Just one question. Where'd you get that box of chocolate pudding? Uh... Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. These past few weeks have been a lot. Not only did we learn that TCRI escapee Candy Chameleon is spreading her pheromone via the subway, the lab where a cure was being developed, yeah, burned down. As if New Yorkers weren't already suffering enough because of the endless curfews, there have been news reports of a vampire bat terrorizing the skies. People are afraid to leave their homes. Now, I happen to know this bat. Wingnut is harmless. Kind of a nerd, TBH. But that lab fire? It may have forged a supercharged omega strain of cami scent, making Wingnut even more batty than your average pheromone addled newbie. Sorry, folks. Last minute edit here. Please excuse the lack of color correction, but I had to include this. One of my valued followers just DM'd me eyewitness video with the subject line, when pigs fly. And boy, does it deliver. Wow, she is a lot stronger than she looks. Okay guys, I, I gotta make some phone calls. Peace! Titles. It's Bebop! He's... he's... We know. We just saw April's report. What am I gonna do without him? Aw, you two have been together since you two were test tube babies. No, I mean, how am I gonna finish the album without him? Maybe I could sample his voice from some of the old B-sides? Well, it's not like he's gone, gone. Right? Yeah, we just need to track down Wingnut's roost. Any chance Bebop had Find My Phone turned on? His watch! Bebop was wearing a fitness band when Wingnut swooped in. Wait, Bebop exercises? It was an aspirational tech purchase. Either way, we can use its GPS tracker to find and rescue him. 
tell me where to poke. Thanks, guys. I'll drop a pin on your map where Bebop is. <laughs>